Come on. That's such bullshit. How the hell is she dodging me there? So there you have it. Oh my god, it's finally reached level 70. Now, in addition to getting congratulations from um, characters you know in game, and people that you play in the game, you also get a gift from your NPC that you've gifted the most. And you get two million dollars from Sierra, and you get the game to suggest that you make another character. Uh, so there you have it. That's how Endgame looks. Of course, now that you're in Endgame, the only thing left to do is to complete the beat quest. Which, of course, will probably take you a couple Time of months. To go home. Of course, this doesn't mean that DFO's not getting any new content. And the story itself is far from over. For example, there's like three new Outerverse dungeons we're supposed to get. Um, there are two towers that have not been released in DFO. Well, they're altars, but you're in the tower section. Um, I just need to amass there are two, well, well there's one entire, there's one entire character that has been released and one subclass that has been released here. And then there's another group, there's an entire rework of the game again called Revolution over in Korea that we haven't gotten. So there's a lot of stuff that has to be done with Dungeon Fire Online. But the majority of this stuff is pretty much done once you hit 70. I just need to amass my lost fortunes.